Collecting payments in HubSpot using payment links is super easy. Let's get it set up and show you how to put it to use in your portal. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. With HubSpot payments, you can collect one-time recurring billing from your customers with an easy setup inside of your HubSpot portal. This is gonna be applicable to all hubs from starter all the way to enterprise, not the free version, but starter on. So let's jump in and actually show you how to set it up and how you can use it with your customers. So here on the back end, I actually have a demo version set up. We're gonna show you payment links. So first of all, HubSpot payments are facilitated through payment links or through quotes. So here we actually have a demo of creating the payment link. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that here. Now you'll notice when we actually set up the payment link, we need to set up the line item information for the products. Now we have a different video about using HubSpot products, if that's something you wanna explore, but here it's gonna show you that we need to know exactly what this payment link is being used for, the description, because this is gonna show in your portal after somebody transacts this. So when using that payment link, we've actually got it set up here now, and I can choose to edit or clone it. So if you have a payment link and you wanna create a new one with the same properties, you can simply clone it. Now I can actually create payments and quotes with that specific link as well. So this is the demo mode. Again, I'll jump in and show you a little more of the flexibility on a live version, but you've got the ability to have this HubSpot payments then put at the bottom of a quote. So for instance, if you work with our company, we actually use this when we send a quote out to a customer for HubSpot Consulting. You get assigned the quote, and then actually right there in that same screen, you can transact, pay, and then within a little bit of time, again, super easy on our end, super easy for you. You get a pay, get set up with a kickoff call, and you're off to the races. Now we can choose to collect billing information. You can actually set this in the settings to make it easier for you in case you need that information. And then when I send that quote, again, this is super easy. It just populates inside of HubSpot and we can make the checkout experience seamless. This is what it looks like. Again, trusted, people are used to this experience and it's all through that same HubSpot link that you set up initially. So when you track those payments, they're gonna come in and look like this. You'll see if they're processing, if they've succeeded or if they've failed. And you can download all of this information into a report where you can easily reconcile that with your um, accounting system as well. Now the last piece is gonna be, you can see this inside of their CRM contact record. Wow, they paid and it's gonna show up on the right hand side along with their deals because you're associating deals with that um, quote information. The last piece is reporting. You can report on that monthly information or you can actually report on all payments across all of your customers. So again, super easy. Let's jump in and actually see how to set this up on the back end. So here inside of our portal, we've got this payments area. You can see that we've got bank account connected and we've got the date and then uh, amounts in various types. If we look inside of the guide, we've got a way for us to think about using these payments across the full customer experience. So if you're thinking, I need some ways to kind of bring this to my team or bring it up as an opportunity, we've got six areas you can use them for here. So payment links, again, a link's gonna be, I just send you this in an email. Think about it kind of like a, you know, this is gonna be my PayPal link, what we used to use several years ago. Now you've got it here in the HubSpot portal. Quotes, I'll show you that here in a second. We just looked at that. The website, you can actually embed a payment link on your website. So let's say you do host your website on a different platform besides HubSpot, and you wanted to have a checkout page where someone purchases something. So instead of needing to have that e-commerce ability built into your website, now you can just embed a payment link and it will open up a new window and actually transact that here through your HubSpot portal. Forms, if somebody submits a form and they need to check out, so let's say that they need to register for an event, you could actually use that in a payment link to facilitate that transaction. Now meetings, this is a really cool one as well. So if you happen to be a coach or let's say you get paid for your time and you want someone to book that meeting and pay you before they actually get a chance to meet with you, that's possible here with payment links. And then workflows, you can power the payment links through workflows, which are a little bit more of a sophisticated advanced user piece. So let's actually look at this here in the settings area. And if we talk about customizing the experience, HubSpot has this thing called brand kits, and you can choose how your payments look, coloring and that sort of thing in your brand area on the back end as well. So payment links will look like this. This is just a, a test area for us here. We've created a couple to look at, and you can see that you can name your link, and then you can see how many times that link is actually used. Now, payment links are gonna be specific you if you're sending them outside of the quotes. If you're sending a payment link attached to a quote, you don't need a separate link. It's actually gonna work right inside of the quote itself, which I'll show you here in a second. 
Now I talked about those meeting links and this is where it gets cool. So again, I can create a scheduling page. And if you need to know how to do this kind of soup to nuts, we've got a whole video about that. But one-on-one, -on -one, we're gonna do this as a test. And we're gonna say this is a test, again, location test. And we're gonna choose a meeting type. Let's say this is gonna be a client meeting and we're gonna click on next. All right, so this is where we see that payment link. So we've got collect payments here. And if you need to sync it to your meetings, you will need to have a specific payment link. So this is where I would say if you have a calendar specific for let's say, I don't know, specific coaching sessions or maybe like this is a 90 minute deep dive and there are different time uh, lengths and they're also different prices, you'd have separate payment links for them as well. So this is where you would link that payment link in here. We're just gonna use this test one and then I would click on next. So what that means is they can't book that meeting without finishing and completing that sale. And then it gets uh, recorded on the back end, and you actually get an email that says, hey, this is the actual amount that came through. Here's your payout, so on and so forth. Now keep in mind that payment links are actually transacted through HubSpot. So there is gonna be a credit card fee associated with that. For the latest rates on that, go ahead and look at the HubSpot knowledge article and, and or talk to your rep to see how that's documented because that may vary. We do use this for our transactions and find it to be very competitive with the credit card fees that you'd pay other places as well. And again, it's all inside of HubSpot, so it makes for a really frictionless experience for your customer. So here we are in the deals area of a test deal. This is a fake deal here in our demo portal. I'm gonna click on adding a quote. And to do that, we're gonna walk through, I'm not gonna worry about setting up any other pieces here. We're just gonna use this to show you what the payments look like. So it's gonna take in the person who's linked to this deal, their company. It's going to assume that I, the user, am the person that's going to be correlated with this deal as well. I can add products from my product library. So I'm going to choose to add, in this case, we're gonna transact address, which is a little strange, but we've got a unit price here. And then we've also got the ability to create a payment schedule if we wanted to bill more than one time, uh, one amount at one time. So now we've got signature and payment options. This is where the HubSpot payment comes in. So I've got a signature that I wanna make sure that they include. So I'm gonna do an e-signature. Love this again, because it's really seamless. They can do it on their phone. And a counter signature would be someone from your company. We don't have that happen in ours, but if you wanted to, you could. And here we've got HubSpot payments as the ability for them to sign and pay right here on the quote. Love this. And then if I want to, I usually turn this on as well, just to make sure that if there's a different billing address, we all live in these environments where the office and the location might be separate these days. So I choose to turn this on. You can toggle whether you want credit card or ACH or both. And then essentially you're gonna hit next and publish that quote. So to do that, this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna copy this here and we're gonna paste it into a new window and this is what your customer is going to see. So if they happen to open it up, they can go ahead and sign it and they can check out. It's taken a little bit of time here. This isn't normal but they can go ahead and sign it and check out in the same screen. And then that HubSpot payments is gonna come through and it looks a little something like this. So for example, on the right-hand side of their contact record or the deal, it's gonna show that they actually have payments and they've been submitted. And then you will get an email that says that there is an amount of money on the way. So again, this isn't the same amount of money that we just showed, but this is what that email is going to look like. Now, if you wanna see all the payments in your HubSpot portal, you're gonna to go to settings and then you're gonna scroll all the way down here to payments. And then you'll be able to see all the payouts here inside of your HubSpot portal. Again, you can download those reports. It's really easy to see all that information manifested right here in one screen for you. So that's it, that's HubSpot payments. Keep in mind, again, that this needs to be something that's set up by your admin and you're going to need to be a US-based company in order to use this feature. Now, if you need help setting this up or putting it to use inside of your company, feel free to reach out and we can help you get started. You wanna put it to use inside of those quotes inside of payment links, meetings, and then website embeds for sure if you happen to be transacting anything online. That's it for now. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we will see you next week.